You ran into the ship. <laughs> Bonk. I could talk to the ship, couldn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could. Big glowy thing. Yeah, come on down. Loot. I mean, come. Right, right under you. Yes, but if you access it, we'll go unfriendly with a talon. Oh. Prisoner? Yeah, you could talk to him. Blah, 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 blah. Who's this? I don't know if this is going to cause it to explode in this one or not because we're not actually part of the storyline, but... <laughs> GTFO. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, okay. This switch turns on the light, I see. I didn't know what this switch did, and I flipped it at the last minute when I was getting out uh, during the mission. But the thing's not going to explode because it was it's a mission uh, a PDA trigger that tells it to explode. So Yeah, he's warning me about something exploding, so I thought, oh, get the hell out of here. Yeah. Because after, after like, oh. I didn't do it. I don't think it exploded. There's a hole there. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere. Just go back outside. Well, that thing's supposed to explode and cause the entire thing to explode, I think. <laughs> but it didn't, so... It's a alien. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, there's still... It's still a Xerox... Or a uh, Talon structure. Interesting. Ow! <laughs> I didn't do anything. I just happened to leave. <laughs> uh, He's swimming. I picked up a bunch of stuff. All right, I just respawned in the current location. Oh, you died. <laughs> yeah, I died. <laughs> I was literally in the middle of the explosion. I wonder if I can get that. If you can that do open the container. You should be able to because yeah, it blew up. Yeah, because the rest of it blew up. Sniper rifle. Tier one. Yeah, we already got those. We got a. We, oh, we got an EVA. Oh, nice. <laughs> Anything else or just those? Just these two, and that just had some electronics. So I'm 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 full right now. <laughs> I totally didn't expect that to explode because I thought it was a PDA trigger that triggered it, but apparently it wasn't. It's just the or, PDA warns you of it. <laughs> it probably blew up just as I was leaving. I was trying to get out and it went kaboom. Yeah, well the PDA it says uh tick and then it has a countdown, like a uh it's like a ten second countdown. But, uh, 
You have a fridge on here, don't you? Uh, does this have a fridge? Yes, it does. I can't open the door. I think it's not faction. It is now. Fridge, fridge, fridge. Here. I have some perishables I want to throw in there. And okay, we're good. Well, that was an adventure. <laughs> uh, blown up proportions. Literally. No, no. It, it, it was an adventure of explosive proportions. Yes. Um, did you find the trade station over at the Polaris area? I didn't really look. I, it probably is. There are two good... All right, yeah, there's the trade station... If you can find a sanctuary, a Polaris sanctuary, um, that is the biggest. Uh, is it that big POI with guns all over it? No, well, not really, but it's got uh, some really good trading things. In my uh, previous single player, I had a sanctuary right next to the trade station, and. Uh, and uh, I would actually go to the trade station and then go to the sanctuary for actual trading. All right, teleporter. We can teleport to and from the trade station and the uh, teleport station now. Okay. Zerk territory. All right. Oh yeah, our reputation's not good with Polaris right now. <laughs> um, can, do we have any missions that give us reputation? I don't think so. No, we our missions are just not the from, crafting not from missions. Multi, I don't think. Okay. Um. Well. We can try to kill some critters in Polaris territory, but most of the the things that the hostile things in here are alien faction, which does not help us. Honestly, I don't know why, because aliens are now legacy, which means that I uh, they really ought to help you with everybody, but. <laughs> Tier 2 shotgun. Tier 2 multi-tool. Nice. I already have a tier 2 multi-tool and tier 2 shotgun, so. Oh, yeah, because you put it in the game. Well, be because I had it in the other one, so. I don't remember we having tier 2. I guess we did. I found I them in certain, in uh, PO when we were looting POIs, specifically the armory and the uh, spaceport. I just found the, the unknown artifact that you found earlier, and I just looted it and found that. Uh, anything else in it? Oh, like neodymium and some... Yeah, did, neodymium. Did you have to fight some uh, nightmares? No, yeah, you shoot the core, because I was in a ship. I can just fly above oh, it. Oh, right. You can shoot it with your... Yeah, with your in thing. My ship. And here's that Promethium. Uh, 
All we have left to find is two iron, one copper, and three promethium. And I'm guessing they're all in Xerax territory. Well, actually, no, there's there's got to be one there that we have not discovered because it says resource, so... Yep, and here's the Heidelberg. Promethium in the water? That's on the edge. Really close. Yeah. Settlement? <laughs> this thing. What is this thing? <laughs> it's literally a thing. It's just like random bits of stuff. Oh, I it's know like what you're a, talking about. Yeah, it's it's, it's the, just, it looks exploded and it's suspended in the air and it's yeah. it's the floating egg. Uh, poi. It's supposed to be alien floating eggs. I think it's part of the uh, the storyline that I haven't gotten to yet. Because every starter planet I've found has that on it, so. So you said the unknown helix has changed. Let's see. It's green. You yeah. see red. Yeah, they changed the... Specifically, the only thing that have changed are the textures and the colors. Because they changed it to match the aesthetic of the legacy. There you are. Did you loot it already? Nope, I just got here. I don't have room to loot this. All right, I'm gonna uh, link to you. I'm gonna link to you. Don't move. Yeah, I was gonna say, go ahead All and right. any loot you need, just go ahead and put it in the IPEX. Okay, it's in there. Uh, main cargo? Yeah. Yes. Nice. Uh, okay. And I'm going to go take a look at this, uh, question, 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 just so my yeah, viewers right. can see yeah. it. For those of you who haven't seen this weird thing. It has a generator, too. Yeah, it's got a floating generator, floating fuel tank, and, uh, and then the rest of it's like floating eggs. But it's not powered on. So all of the uh, um, I think it was I think the generator was spinning. We're... No, it's not because it has no core. So all right. Um. So all if you put a core, all the lights will come on. But actually, it might it'll collapse if you try to do anything to it. I didn't when I tried. Then again, I was in freedom mode when I tried. So <laughs> that may be why. I think yeah, it, it's all red except for like two spots aren't red in structural integrity. Right, but here's the thing. Adding things does not affect structural integrity apart from specific instances. Um, and it's, and if you take, keep into account the fact that floating POIs are not affected by it, yeah, I don't know. But uh, if, it's, and if it's set to not do that, yeah. But, but yeah, I was in freedom mode when I added the core, so I don't know. Uh, did you get the fuel out of it? No, I haven't even... I didn't touch it. 
Okay, where have I been out Oh, I haven't explored this whole western area. I shall go west, my friend. Oh yeah, you can't you can't access the fuel tank because it's an alien faction. Um, hmm. But it has no core. You are correct. It has no core, and you can't add a core because it says no access possible wrong faction. So can't really do anything with it. Xerox territory over here, but it looks like it's like a single POI deal. Uh, that is the drone base. I was going to say, that's probably the drone base. Hello, drone base. And resource here. It, it seems that the drone base is I... now always a single structure in the middle of nowhere on the starter planet. Um, Medium. Really? Because it usually has defenses around it. Not I anymore. Guess it. Uh, with Alpha 12, they changed that. Another broken engine. Nice. Uh, did you salvage the first one? No, because I don't have the room. All right, I'm coming I knew it would have the room. I'm coming over to this one. We can take a look at this one. Careful with the drum base. Yeah. It's Let's go to the first one. I'm just grabbing all the question marks and resources. Oh, I've right. Yet. This POI, this broken engine. Yeah, it's just one big engine with scrap iron around it. It's always in water or halfway submerged in water. Ruins are absolutely useless. Unless you want the rocks. Well, that's not entirely true. I can't... Oh. Uh, that's not entirely true because some... Uh... Uh, what do you call it? Some of them have like little tiny containers. So, like the, uh, uh, what do you call them? Fire, okay. Firebase is what I'm thinking of. This is, it's just riddled with guns on it. Yeah. Okay. So I salvaged this. Get it all? Ooh, yep. Promethean. Yep. Let's see. It had. 65 Zascosium alloy. Um, nice. 23 oscillators, a power coil, and a motor. I think I found the last iron. Yep. Yeah, the fire base is a really nice POI. Oh, this one's different. What? This is called a ruined temple, but it looks very different from anything I've seen before. Not very big, though. Yeah, like I said, there's several ruined temples. That's one of those cobra statues, but it's knocked over. Yeah. That's this decorative bit that's broken, but that's different. Can you dig it? I forget, does the fire base have any traders in it? That's what I was wondering. I think there are, but I don't know what they trade. Let me go back to it. Yeah, I'm coming over to it too. Oh, you just passed it, it's to your left. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. <laughs> there it is. It's got several levels of things. And guns everywhere. I'm going to land right here on this landing pad. If I'm not mistaken, this may be the Polaris, uh, uh, what, what do you call it? Headquarters that you have to take like out to stop their attacks. Attacks, yeah. Uh, they've got fruit growing that if you pick, they'll become unfriendly. Yeah, take my fruit. <laughs> uh... 
There is a trader. I think it's uh, it says Bertram's. So yeah, if we wanted to trade, we could do it here. I wonder if there's a teleporter in here. I don't think so, but it's possible. If there is, I'll be able to. We'll be able to teleport here just by coming over here. What was the POI you were looking for by by Polaris? What was it called? Sanctuary. 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 Logan's run. <laughs> There's a talent in here. There's an Oki Medical. Oh, you can use the first aid station and the O2 station. Should be able to use the repair station, too. Unfortunately, you cannot access the fridge. Um, well, not without making them angry at you. Darn. You can access the constructors, but not the boxes that they would be linked to. <laughs> Uh, armor locker and repair station, so yes. Ah, there's a whole garden in here with, uh, what is this, Aunt Mary's garden thing? Yep. Oh, here's a fridge you can access. Nothing's in it. Next to a food processor that you cannot. Well, no, there, uh, there was a uh, ham in it. <laughs> I'm eating their ham. ha 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 ha. Oh, there is a teleporter. It's not currently active, but there is a teleporter here. I wonder if we can figure out how to activate it. If there's a way to activate it. I'll have to look into that, see if, uh, if I can figure out in creative mode how to activate the teleporter so we can activate it here and... Uh, and be able to teleport to and from this station as well. And here's a market cafe. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, there's a CV platform. Uh, the, you mean the, yeah. For the patrol CV. Yeah. But I don't see the patrol CV. I haven't seen one. I think there is one. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure there is one for the, for this planet. Oh, actually, it's here, but it's stuck inside the POI. <laughs> <laughs> and it, but it can still shoot at me. Yeah, he's stuck in the Darn it, because I wanted to take out that POI. I like that base. The patrol vessel HQ. I don't see, oh, there it is. I was like, I don't see it on the map, but now I do. There might not be a sanctuary on this planet. 
All right, I'm back over at the Heidelberg. If you want to come over here and start uh, looting with okay. me. I was screwing with the Xerox. There's actually a uh, station you can talk to on the Heidelberg, too. Where are you? I'm at the Heidelberg. I'm going ahead and taking up some of the, uh, uh, what do you call them, the thrusters. All right. Oh, I still seem to have some room left. I think I can. Well, you can always just three. you can always three. just put them straight to my inventory. Yeah. You know, so. I swore this one over here had a thruster in it. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Nope, there it is. If my people are wondering how I'm knowing where a lot of this stuff is, I just recently uh, salvaged this in my single player, so. Like there's a cargo box that's hidden under the ground on in here, so. Yeah, it's just like when you learned how where everything was in the uh, Titan. Right? You know exactly where to go. But here, I, I don't know. I don't know this one that well. I know there's um there's like six grow plots inside. Yes, which we're gonna want to uh we're gonna want to well it doesn't really matter now that we already have our garden. We're probably just gonna wanna take them apart. Um, so come over to where I am here. Hey, come here. I don't know if you see where I am. I do. Now stop taking things apart. See this over here? <laughs> uh, you can talk to it. Not much to it. Can activate whatever or whatever. Yeah, because the uh, the mission, uh, the PDA mission will tell you what to do. Oh, I see. It just downloaded something. Yeah, and it creates a uh, key for you to go to the uh, uh, the teleport thing. That, that we had near, you know, near our base at the start. So, uh, I don't know if you knew this, um, but this uh, vessel, the, uh, the Heidelberg, is a Pelican class vessel that you can, there's actually a UCH Pelican prefab that you can make with a, this vessel completely intact. Oh, it's, it's big, isn't it? Seems pretty big. It's, it's medium, I would say medium sized. 
Um, it doesn't have a whole lot of weapons and such, but it's. it's I do a, like its giant cargo bay, though. It's, yeah, well, that's that's the shuttle slash uh, HV bay. Yeah, I like it. I like big bays like that. Just put whatever you want in. I like big bays, and I cannot lie. <laughs> In fact, in my original single player, this was what I was going to uh, spawn in as my first capital vessel. Because it's just big enough to hold uh, uh, to hold the uh, diplomat. It's big enough that you can hold the diplomat uh, trans, the small vessel inside of it and park in it. And it's really, really nice. So it's in the prefabs? I don't see it. Uh, go to the prefabs, type in UCH, and then you'll see UCH Pelican. Yeah. Tier 2 Heavy Transport, that's it. That's this ship. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I was looking for Heidelberg, but I guess this is... Yeah, because it's a UCH Pelican class. Um, you can also do the Titan Pelican. I get it. So the Pelican in the sense it can carry a lot of stuff, not just that, but if you look at the front of it, the, f like, if you look at it from the front, the front portion of it looks like a Pelican's mouth. It opens up. Um, I've got, and, and the thing is the Pelican class wasn't actually updated for Alpha 12, but I have an updated version that I saved for Alpha 12 specifically to spawn in, in my single player. And I never got around to it. All right. Now there's two thrusters up here on the top over somewhere or there in the back were. area. Um, I didn't get any, I've been getting the right containers here. and deconstructing the containers that I find. Yeah, in the front area. I've already gotten like five, one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, at least six or seven thrusters I've already gotten. Um, and I know there's at least two more over there's here. Two, two back here. Where are you? Yep, I think these are the last two. Cool. Because I've gotten most, if not all, of the others. I've been grabbing the, uh, uh, or de deconstructing the boxes as I loot them. That's what I'm doing too. Um, I'm pretty sure I just got all the thrusters. I think that all that may be left are like minor devices and such. Whoever, Oops, we're in town. Whoever yeah, turned, I just realized we're... Yeah, whoever turned this into a... Uh, into a wrecked ship really did a good job of it. Ooh, titanium rod. Okay. Um, now, let's go check out the dart right over here. All right, I'm already tearing it down. Okay, nice. That's why I found the titanium rod in the little container. Um, you'll also notice that they added uh, titanium 
to more uh, planet types. Um, the snow planet, as a planet, not the moon, has uh, titanium on Butlo, it. As Butlo is on the snow planet. Yep. But looking at what we have here, there is, of the ones we have here, one, two... We've got two additional moons into our own, three, four additional moons in our starter planet or in our starter system that have uh, things. We've got an alien planet in our system. Nice. All right, I think it's about time to head back to the base. Yeah, we're not too far from home. The, uh, uh, what do you call it? The Heidelberg is always re right near the, uh, crash, the, where you crash so, down now. The starter, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let me know when you're done unloading stuff so I can. Done. Oh, actually, no. I still got the stuff in my ship. Uh... So I've got a couple of mods of armor mods. Uh, one's a jetpack. One is a insulation. Oh, and my armor is completely done. Uh, Cause remember when I exploded? Yeah, um, that destroyed my armor. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, keep in mind that when we gained all those levels, it automatically unlocked everything up to those levels. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. It does that, <laughs> but that's fine. Sure, typed in level 25. Level equals 25. Yeah, but then that would be cheating. Okay, um, let's see. I mean, by the time you're level 25, you can unlock everything anyway, so. With extra. Right. Um, you're not using this projectile pistol, are you? Nope. There was an EVA boost I grabbed. I don't know where it went. 
Well, you better find it because you're the one who keeps losing all of our gold stuff. Probably put it in the Apex. <laughs> you mean the Ipex? Yeah. Nope, it's not in the uh it's not in the Ipex anywhere. Found it. Good. You're the reason we didn't have one in the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we have a lot of stuff. I think it's time to start working on our next, uh, on, on our CV. Yeah. Because we're not going to do a whole lot of exploring around here. We might uh, want to go to a couple of the other planets, but having a command base... Uh, would be beneficial. Now, the Tier 2 command base is level 15. So, I'm only level 11, almost level 12. I am pretty close to 15 already. But pick some plants so we can spawn a ship. Yep, I don't know if you want to... Uh, if you want to... Uh, kill critters. I... Uh, subscribe to it and do it yourself. Yeah. I think I already did. It's called the ARVN Tier 2 Command Base. And we might have a lot of the stuff that we need for it. Uh, we need a lot of titanium rods. That's that's what we need. We need 14,000 titanium rods. Oh, jeez. So we're going to need to go uh, to the moon and start doing some uh, titanium mining. Or more more correctly, we ought to try to find a auto miner core. Uh, we could probably buy some if we can start doing some trading with Polaris. So we probably want to actually try... Getting friendly with Polaris somehow. Best way to get friendly with Polaris in this is probably just to go out and kill some Xerax. So we should be able to make a assault on the Xerax. Not the drone base, but on one of these other bases. Okay, what was that uh, ship called? ARVN Command Base Tier 2. ARVN T2 Command Base. That's it. Alrighty. Um, so yeah, I can, tr I can teleport to the trading station, but not the fire base. Although it's not letting me teleport. Maybe you can't use their teleporters unless you're friendly, which would be interesting. So we need to get 
at least friendly with Polaris. What do you say we go around and uh, kill some Xerax? All right. Find some POIs you want to take out? Um, yeah, we can. Okay, so, uh, so apart from the drone base, pick a, uh, place you want to go. Nothing nearby. Yeah, we could. Comoray to the west is the closest one I see. Yeah. And then we can go from the Comoray to the patrol vessel HQ to the vehicle port to the defenses and just take out what we can other than the drone base that's the only big well hmm was there there must be another POI as direct POI that I haven't found yet that's like in the, in the southeast yeah. corner yeah because it's not because it's the shape of the, of the area it doesn't match with the POI keep in mind I don't have a scanner so you're going to have to do any scanning once we get over there You're a scout without a scanner? Uh, no, I'm a fighter without a scanner. I'm a Falcon. Falcon's the fighter. Falcon's the light fighter. The eagle is the heavy fighter. The hawk is the scout. Yeah, I just was just grabbing that uh, thing because it wasn't detected, so now I'm going to fly yeah. over. In this low gravity, these things maneuver really well. Because it's low yeah. gravity, but it's got a good atmosphere. So, <laughs> unlike on the moon, which is low gravity, no atmosphere. I'm just heading towards my marker, which is about four clicks out. Three and a half. All right, I'm right behind you. Yeah, there's a whole set of POIs over there in that direction that I haven't detected yet. All right, coming into Xerox territory. Keep in mind that some Take of the high ground. Keep in mind that some of the ones you find might be rocket uh, turrets, so. But then again, I don't see any, uh, I don't see the floating things or anything. Although that that is definitely the uh, radar, radar, the Xenu radar. That drone's acting crazy. What it's drone? doing somersaults. And there's a drone next to this defense tower. He's just flipping around, going. Loop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doop. Oh, I see it. <laughs> it's like a fish trying to swim. Watch out. I took a hit, but nothing exploded.
Yeah, fighting is so much better when I got my upgrade. I know, right? You're talking about your PC upgrade? Yeah, it's a, my PC upgrade's only like three weeks old now. I lost a wing. I think I did too. But I'm in first person mode, so I can't. Have we even taken out any of their turrets yet? Yep. I think I just did. No, probably not. No, I, see, I still see all four on there. I know I've hit one at least four times now with two rockets each. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to repair for a bit here. Yeah, I'm going to come up here and uh, get a vantage spot to stop and repair. It doesn't appear that I have a whole lot of damage. I think my wings took the brunt of all of the of any hits that I took. It took out. I lost something in my nose. It's like the light and something was behind it. Oh yeah, it. I've lost. Oh, it might light. be the. I think there R was a RCS. core upgrade. There's an RCS oh, behind it. Okay, I thought it was a core upgrade. And actually, my core is right there. Yep, the uh, cores are behind the RCS. No, your core upgrades are like in the middle of the ship so they don't get hit easy. Hello. Trying to focus on one turret. Oh, I got it. Nice. Yeah, that's what I had been doing, is trying to focus on one turret. Got it. You got yep. it. Yep. That's what I had been doing, is trying to focus on one turret. Harder to go down. Okay, there, no, there's two left. Yeah, I think something else exploded on the base. So <laughs> that exploded something. I shot down the drone. Okay. <laughs> I heard part of the base collapse. I've lost another... It did! You took out both of those turrets. I've lost another wing. You took down both turrets by, by collapsing that section of the, of the base. Nice! <laughs> that was awesome. There's some patrols down there, though. Careful.
Nice. Yeah, I don't have a lot of room for salvaging things, but... You don't have a fridge, do you? No. No. <laughs> I think what happened is... Uh, I don't know what collapsed that side, but on the other side, a fuel tank up must have exploded because I... Oh, yeah. Well, that because would be I a, found some fuel on the ground. That. Oh, there, or should something. Some, there should be some more up here. Loot! Yeah, there's more loot in the tower. Yeah, now we can take this tower apart for titanium. I got 15 titanium plates. Uh, I've got 35 just because taking this thing apart. What we could do, hold on. We could try to come back here and put a core on this and then take the whole blocks and throw them into the, uh, into the workshop for you. All right. Yeah, I have a core. <laughs> I've got. Uh, yes, but uh, well, yeah, and we could use the blocks right here. That's cool. Well, we both have a core. Um, yeah, I lost a couple of wings on my, uh, thing on my left I'm side. Make but I think that's all that. You know that I lost was wings. Because everything else seems perfectly intact. And that's exactly why I put the wings on there was to absorb damage like that. In addition to uh, helping like, with the aerodynamics. I can't, I can't make the ramps with this constructor. Yeah. You have a constructor? I do, but it's the same kind as you have. Yeah. Um, do you have, uh, uh, can you make headlights? Let's see. Yes. All right. Make can I make it. an RCS? I can make an RCS for myself. You, I was going to say, you should be able to. Um, we really, what we really need to do is we need to get the uh, repair bay online on our uh, thing. Yeah. Uh, you are, are we both or are you high enough level to get the repair? Yeah, you should be high enough to level to get the repair console. We've got the tier two repair bay. We just need the repair console and I can throw it on the, uh, on the yep. boundary so that we can repair the capital vessel too. Instead of just putting it on the small vessel bay, put it on the foundry. Uh, I'm level 15. I can unlock the teleporter now. Yeah, go ahead. Do that. Tier two large generator, tier three fuel tank. CPU three extenders. Yeah, you've got more uh, room than I. Hold on. Why? Okay, it looks like for some reason uh, mass and volume is not active. Uh oh, really? You want to restart? Yeah, because that's supposed to be active. Um, let's go ahead and grab. Turn some your chip. Turn your chip off. Why? Just until there's no fuel loss. Oh, you seem to have lost a uh, a uh, oh, landing I lost landing gear. gear as well. Oh, on the front. Yeah. Yeah. That and the RTS too, and the. 
That's why there's a big hole there. That's what I was. I thought it was the um, what do you call it? The thing, the CPU. Um, well, the, yeah. me, I'm the bar. Okay. There's um, a, is there a container inside here? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah. We but could probably make one. It's okay. We'll just use what we've got and take it back to the ship, or take it back to the base, and then. All right, I'm going to go ahead and log out and then try to restart the thing. All right. Intermission. I'm going to get some coffee, too.